Hello guys, this is Imanchu from Code Campaign, and today we are going to discuss about how to find the number of leaf nodes in a binary tree. So for this video, uh, the prerequisite video is the how to find the number of nodes in a binary tree. Uh, if you want to go to this video, just click the pop-up which is uh, cl click the pop-up which is on the right <coughs> top corner of your screen. Okay. So uh, how to find the leaf nodes in a binary tree? So suppose this is uh, our binary tree. So uh, how many leaf nodes are there? This is the leaf node of our binary tree. This is the leaf node of our binary tree, and this is the leaf node of our binary tree. So we have three leaf nodes in this binary tree. So the leaf node is a node. So the leaf node. How to identify the leaf node in a binary tree? So leaf node is a node for which the left child and the right child both are null, right? So leaf node. For leaf node, the left child and right child are null. Okay, so that's how we identify the leaf node in a binary tree. So now let's go ahead and <coughs> let's go ahead and see the approach by which we can find the uh, leaf nodes in a binary number of leaf nodes in a binary tree. So uh, we will write this code in both ways, iterative and recursive ways. I will highly recommend you pause the video here. As you have watched all my previous videos, you should be able to write the code for this problem. So you should go into your ID and start writing the code for this problem. And if you are unable to write, then come back and watch this video. But uh, if you are following my series so far up till now, you should be able to write the code for this video without even watching this video so I will highly recommend you pause it here and then go back and write the code and try to solve the problem on your own rather than watching this video ahead and if you are stuck then come back and watch this video okay so how uh, we will um, uh, find the number of leaves in the tree in a iterative way so as we already know for level order traversal we need to use Q. So that's our Q. <coughs> so what we'll do, we'll start from here. First, we'll push our first element into the Q. Then we'll pop our uh, or DQ our element from the Q. After this, what we'll do, we will check if nodes left equal to equal to null and node right equal to equal to null we'll, uh, we will take one element here which is count equal to zero and we will increment the count if this condition will be satisfied okay so what we are actually checking here we are checking for the leaf node so whenever we are popping the node uh, we are checking if that particular node is leaf node if leaf node then we will increment the count otherwise uh, we uh, we will do whatever we do in the level order traversal we will push the left element into the queue and then we will push the right element into the queue then again we will pop so now we will pop three out of the queue then we'll check if uh, three left node uh, uh, three left child or the right child is null so three left child and the right child is null <coughs> so we'll increment the count to two now we'll pop the next node which is four out of the queue then we'll check if four left child and the right child is null so four left child is null but the right child is not null so we'll not increment the count then we'll push the right child of 4 into the queue then we'll pop 5 out of the queue and we'll check if the left child of the 5 and the right child of the 5 is null so yeah the left and the right child of the 5 is null so we'll increment the count so now our queue is empty so our answer is 3 okay so that's how we can find the number of leaves in a tree in a iterative way 
now let's discuss how we can find the number of trees in a, a number of leaves in a tree binary tree in a recursive way so to find that what we will do we will again do the post order traversal so we will go to the left then we will go to the left then we uh, will find that our left child is null right so when uh, or uh, what we will do rather than going below this we will check if root left is null and root right is null so we'll return one right so whenever we when we come here so we will check if root left is null and right is null so we'll return one from here right so two will get uh, so this part will return one then we'll go into the right part so we'll come here then we'll come here and this part is left and right both are null so this part will return one right and uh, we will have one more con condition here root equal to equal to null then we'll return zero so as this this null this will return zero <coughs> and this part will return one so what we'll do we will return the addition of both of these from here so this will return one so whatever the left side is returning the left value plus right value we will return so so from here is this part will uh, the right side will return one and from here the left side will return one so this guy will return two back here now we'll explore the right side uh, of this so for six both left and the right are null so this six will return one and uh, the <coughs> left side is returning two and the right side is returning one so one will return two plus one which is three and this is the number of leaves into this tree so now uh, let's go ahead and write the code for both iterative and the recursive uh, way okay so this is where we left our id in the last video so let's go ahead and write the And as we have repeated this code like uh, level order traversal code a lot of times I'm going to copy this. I hope now you guys are very much familiar with this code. So let's copy paste this part. And now what we have to do we have to just put this if condition before incrementing the count. So if our left and the right both children are null for a particular node so this will be node that means it's a leaf node so we'll increment the count in that condition only apart from it everything will remain same so now let's go ahead and run this code here so let me comment both of these things and let's so let's call our code utility and the function we want is 
leaf node iterative Let's pass this parameter and run the code So yes, we got the output as three, and this tree we already know has only three leaves. So our iterative code works. Now let's stop debugging and go ahead and write the code for recursive manner also. So for recursive, what I will do, I'll just copy this code. I am copy pasting all this because now I assume that you guys are very much familiar with all these codes so so what we have to do here just add one more condition if left equal to null and right equal to null then we have to return one because this is a leaf node right so, and then we will just return left the summation of left and the right so that's all we have to do here now let's go back and check if this code also works to call leaves recursive okay so let's run this code this should also print 3 okay so this code is printing 5 so <laughs> let's go back and check where we did the mistake so okay so this is the mistake we forgot to replace this and this so now let's run our code again okay so um, the second uh, bit uh, recursive uh, function is also printing the leaf nodes as see that that means our code works um, again the time complexity and the space complexity for both of these algorithm will be O of n so if you don't understand why I would highly recommend go back and watch the previous videos uh, so by this time you should be able to uh, you should be able to tell the space complexity and the time complexity of these uh, very easy problems so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any query please put it into the comments thank you for watching my video see you again